third. Leading by they just exploded in the second quarter. Catch out. NBA 2K18 is a big basketball game with loads of modes and deep customization and simulation settings. In fact, it's one of the most sophisticated sports sims out there. Absolutely. This is one exciting game to play and watch. It's flashy, the dynamic commentary is incredible, and the matches are frantic and fast-paced. And every time you work hard and take a shot and it goes in, the feeling is so sweet. And if you know the different basketball teams, commentators, and especially the players, you'll revel in the attention to detail that has gone into this. Here's Counts, and it's sent back by O'Neal. Oh, it's truly a superb human and ball simulator. <laughs> yeah, Darren, I was so impressed with the player likenesses. And the way they all bump into each other on the court, known as collision detection, is sophisticated and realistic. This game gets an outing every year, and they appear to have eliminated some of the more awkward animation from last year's game too, where players would do strange things that you just didn't want them to do. Now it all feels pretty good as you dribble, pass, switch players, and go for shots. I did get a lot of fouls though. Yeah, and if you don't know the rules of basketball already, you might struggle a little bit because the tutorial isn't great. But it does try to teach you some of the game's advanced mechanics, such as the pro stick, which lets you dribble and shoot using the right stick alone. Yeah, they introduced the pro stick a few years ago and I'm still so bad with it. I shoot by accident all the time. <laughs> well, lucky for you, Bajo, you don't have to use the pro stick. The customization settings in NBA 2K18 are numerous and varied. From camera angles to signature moves, just about everything can be customized. The game also features a story mode. Here you create your own player called DJ and follow him as he returns to basketball after taking a break to pursue his music career. One thing I was really excited about is you can actually scan your own face using the mobile phone app and then put your face onto the character in the game. <laughs> Although it didn't go so well for me. Get a ball. He looks nothing like me. Oh, I think the likeness is quite good. See, I'm glad you committed, Bajo, because watching your character in these cutscenes brought new life to story mode. Oh, it's like that. It's huh? like that. Let's hope you can back up that big mouth, loose change. You know, I was so excited to see famous basketballer Shaq in this game, but something about him is just not quite right. But even though they're so bad, Bajo, I kind of liked the awkward cutscenes. They just made me laugh. Don't listen to that jibber-jabber, Ernie. You focus on one game at a time. The rest will just take care of itself. There's also an open-world hub zone where players can walk about, visit clothing stores, take sponsorship deals such as in-store appearances, and even take part in mini-games. Yeah, it's a fairly limited zone, but I like what they're trying to do there. I did find, however, seeing all those players just standing around, not really doing anything, a little bit odd. Yeah, it's kind of spooky. I think it's because it feels like they're all on a movie set. It's a bit surreal. It also feels a bit like you're walking around in a big ad with lots of in-your-face advertising. You're also heavily encouraged to buy gold coins with real-world money. And that just feels gross, grosser than usual for this kind of game. I couldn't agree more. And of course, before spending any real money in a game ever, always do check with your grown-ups. And stuff in this game isn't cheap. You are a handsome oh, duh. man. NBA 2K18 is all about customizing and playing the kind of game that you want to play, with friends, online, or practicing against the brutal AI. This really is the full package for basketball fans. I'm giving it four out of five rubber chickens. Yeah, on the one hand, I love all the basketball play in this game. That stuff's fantastic. But on the other, all the menus and single play around that game is a bit rough. So I'm going to give it three and a half out of five rubber chickens. You can't control the future. Only I can. It didn't work that time. Nothing showed up in your hand. Nothing. It doesn't always work that way. What do you think this is, some video game? <laughs>